Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, in the previous videos we have seen what is Catalyst Optimizer in Spark SQL and uh, we have seen different stages, how, what exactly will happen in the back end of the Spark when you submit SQL query or some data using the data frame APIs. So one of our friends requested the same code in the in the videos we, we have seen uh, how to do that in the in the Databricks uh, notebook right notepad. So he requested us to show how can we do the same in the Eclipse. So today I will just show you that it's uh, the similar one. Okay, whatever we have done in the notepad uh, Databricks notebook that the notebook the same thing that we are going to do here. Okay, but using a different uh, query. Uh, so friends, uh, this uh, code was already created uh, for uh, checking, uh, joining three, uh, two or more tables, okay? I will give that video also in the I button. You can go through that for the detailed explanation of uh, this code. So this code is uh, for getting the top five products which are having the highest revenue from the accessories category. So which means that it we have to join the project products table with uh, the order table, category st order table, and the order item table, and the category is uh, table. So here I have created three data frames, and this is a huge uh, file, and this is like moderately but still huge, and uh, this order items is a small file, okay, small uh, table relation. So in this query, we are joining these three tables and filtering as per the requirement for fetching the top five products based on the uh, given uh, where condition. And this is using the data frame API and the same thing, the same query being written in the SQL query. Okay, if people are uh, very well versed with the SQL queries, they can do that in the spark.sql as well. The same requirement is explained in both the ways. So now, we will see how to print that uh, plan in Eclipse. Okay, so I'm taking this result DF, and when you do dot and control tab, right, it will give you three options. One is explain. So this explain you are able to see, right? This will give you by default physical plan alone. Okay, so second one is the explain extended, which means that it will give you the extended plan which will have res unresolved resolved optimized and physical plans okay that we have already seen in the uh, this one right in the previous uh, video you can go through that actually you can create a query you can check all the modes one by one to see how all these things work and then explain mode equal mode some string it is expecting so this uh, feature is introduced from spark 3.0.0 so mode equal to extended i am giving okay and I'm saving it but here you have different modes like uh, simple extended code gen cost and formatted you can try with all these things to see how exactly what kind of plans we get so that it will help you to understand what will happen when you run the query now I'm saving it and I'm running this code friends to see uh, what exactly uh, will it will print when you take the when you ask uh, spark to give this extended plan so here this is the query that we are talking about here we have multiple joins and filter conditions and all that and here we are not giving any kind of broadcasting or anything just uh, make sh see that so then it is easily we can understand the plan Okay, friends, you see here it has printed the extended plan, which means that first is parsed uh, plan, which is the unresolved plan. You can see here, right, it is unresolved, which means that initially the plan will be created by the driver, right, that one. And it will not have any kind of optimization. It's just as the way that we are writing the code, okay, it is the same as that. And then it will create the analyzed logical plan which will be analyzed okay means it will clear the 
table name or uh, column name issues uh, like synaptic errors it will uh, ig uh, resolved and all that it will do and it will give this analyzed logical plan and you can see the difference here this is the unresolved and uh, this is the resolved logical plan which will have proper analyz analyzed uh, one for each relation means for each table and it will take it is just telling us what kind of uh, uh, this one we are sorry what kind of join we are doing what kind of filter what kind of aggregation what kind of window function we are using uh, like everything everything it will note down in the logical plan and and then comes the optimized logical plan okay so here you can see uh, initially there, there will be some difference okay because here you you can see it will uh, segregate based on uh, like uh, result here it will just resolve this and in the optimization here itself it will segregate the functions based on that where can we do the filter and how can we um, uh, incorporate the joins and the filter conditions and how where exactly we can do the aggregate functions all these things will give you here and then coming to the physical plan this is the final physical plan because we have learned right it will create lot of physical plan and only one best plan will be selected based on the cost right so this is that physical plan and here you can see right uh, first it is doing the filter okay whatever filters that is there and then it is doing the file scan based on the filter and then it is doing the uh, it is using hash aggregation for selecting the keys and functions we have never used in the code explicitly to use hash related algorithm but still it is taking and similarly we have given just the join but if you see here order item is the uh, smaller table as I told okay but so for that it is applying the broadcast hash join which means that it is uh, broadcasting this smaller table so internally spark knows which table to be broadcasted which table to be uh, p which uh, kind of ap uh, an algorithm to be applied is it sort merge or shuffle sort or broadcast or uh, something just the hash alone you have to apply everything it will apply to the code even though you are not explicitly mentioning in the code it will analyze the data see this is what it is doing here it will analyze what kind of data and based on that data it will provide see hash partitioning and all it is doing but whereas we have not mentioned any such thing in the code internally it will analyze the uh, the query that we are going to execute and it will perform the windowing operations or ex these uh, partitioning aggregations and also broadcast has joined and here we have very small table it is doing the broadcast exchanges but if you have something else which needs uh, uh, sorting uh, I mean uh, sort may join or something it will apply so spark knows what kind of uh, plan to take based on the cost cost effective method which will apparently increase the runtime of the job in the sense which which will uh, improve the performance so this is how we can check the plans in eclipse hope uh, this is uh, clear to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learning thank you